guys it's me again Otik and I'm back again for an another video so today I want to talk about this realme q2 phone realme so gusto kong mag review sa phone na to kasi um, I just I just got this at Lazada um, I just tried the it's a China China phone a China ROM phone so, um, yung, yung parang equivalent niya dito is the Realme 8. So, uh, watch my vlog for this Realme Q2 phone. So playing NBA 2K20, it's not working. So it's same with the Poco M3 Pro, the NBA is not working. So now guys, I've connected my Bluetooth gamepad to the realme q2 5g so let's try to play this game it's a psp emulator so so far this is one of the best emulators for the psp game so let's try to play the tekken game So this is one of my favorite game in the PSP. So same character as usual. So it's smooth, the game is battery smooth. So it's, that's it guys, so playing the emulator with the game Bluetooth gamepad. So now guys, I've connected my Bluetooth keyboard, there, no wires, to the Realme Q2 5G. And let's use the mouse, wireless mouse, connect it via USB Type-C hub. So there. So 
as you can see, there's the mouse pointer there. There, pointer. So let's try to type. So the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. So there's a mistype there. So there. See, you can use the mouse. So you can use your phone as a um, word processor. You can do your uh, what you call that uh, research and type it here on your phone. So now guys, let's try to <coughs> cast the screen using our Realme Q2. So let's try to cast the screen. So there, Smart TV. Turn on. Let's see if it's connecting. So there you go guys, it's connected. So you can now watch your movies on the large screen TV. So, watching on the large screen TV using your Realme Q2. So, it's like screen mirroring the phone. So let's try to turn off, then let's try the force desktop mode. So now guys, let's try the force desktop mode. So let's go to first go to the developer option so additional settings developer then turn on the force desktop mode so that's it force desktop mode turn this tree on so I turn it on already and then Let's try to cast the screen. There. Let's connect to the TV. So what I like about the phones, if it works on the force desktop mode, is you can use your desktop uh, TV at the same time phone uh, you can do two things at a time it's like multitasking so let's try if it works so mouse so there let's try play store so nothing happens here so let's try uh, too bad guys so there's no you can use the desktop mode on the realme q2 it's too bad see nothing
So now guys, let's try to connect using the MHL wire. So let's get our handy dandy remote. Go to source. There. So it's the wire. So this is the phone, the Realme Q2. Realme. Connect it here. Click on allow. So let's try to see if it works. So the ring. Let's check. So, yes. There you go, guys. It works. Oh. So. Start now. There. So it works. Yeah. So now you can watch movies on your large screen TV. There you go, guys. Yeah, payload is compromised. So now, guys, let's try to print using our real me. Q2 5G. So I've already connected my Realme to the Epson L3150. So let's try to print a photo. So let's try to print this. Select. Then uh, type of paper, plain paper. Quality done. So let's try to print this. So there you go, guys. Printing using the Realme Q2. So you can print document your documents, pictures so, for school use. So there you go guys. So, hi guys. So, it's verdict time for the Realme Q2 phone. So, the phone is like the Realme 8. Uh, 
a little a little higher the specs is a little higher but yung price tag niya is uh, medyo uh, cheaper than the realme 8 now, my only problem is when you get this phone uh, you need to install the google because it doesn't have the google apps so yun tiyagaan mo na yung pag install ng google so what i did is i installed the google first if you can see so there there's already a google so yun pag tiyagaan natin yung pag install but uh, as for the phone uh, wala akong masabi it's a very nice phone with the 120 refresh rate gigahertz refresh rate so it's really battery smooth the the display is really uh, nice uh, my only my only gripe with the phone is that wala siyang forced desktop mode that's one of my um, really go to go to parang it has to yung phone has to have a parang a forced desktop mode or yung sa Samsung na naman uh, it's the um, parang desktop the, ano niya yung desktop mode niya so yun also is you can't play uh, the NBA game I don't I don't know why so I I tried to reinstall again so ayaw niya talaga mag play sa NBA and regarding sa camera naman okay yung camera sa low light yun it struggles and uh, what else regarding sa selfie naman uh, you you get what you paid for so uh, it's really a bang for the buck uh, phone so thank you for watching guys and please don't forget to like and subscribe my uh, YouTube channel thank you